This is made by mommy.com's Pilgrim Hat tutorial. Thank you to Kristen who requested a Pilgrim Hat just this morning on my Facebook page. I had one in the works and here it is. I hope you enjoy it. To make this Pilgrim Hat you'll need three colors of rubber bands. I've used black for the hat itself, white to represent the ribbon going around the sides, and yellow in the center to represent the buckle. You'll also need your rainbow loom hook and your loom itself. To make this, we're going to have the layout a little bit different. I've laid it out on three separate charts because this has a whole lot of overlapping. The first chart looks like this. And we're going to take a black rubber band and move it from this first center peg straight ahead. Again, remember your pegs are set up straight across for this one so that we get a flat top and a flat bottom. Take two black rubber bands and put them from the left peg to the center. And then again, starting at the center peg, and going to the right, two at a time, from the left peg going forward, the middle peg, two black rubber bands going forward, and the right peg, two more black rubber bands going forward. If you need to, please pause to catch up. Next, from this left peg, two more black rubber bands towards the center. And two more black rubber bands from the center to the right. And that's step one of the layout. Move that out of the way and bring the second one. The second one is what creates that ribbon and the buckle in the center. So I'm using white and yellow. We're going to take one rubber band at a time and place it around the peg three times. One, two, three one rubber band wrapped around the same peg three times. We're going to repeat with the same color on the right side. One, two, three. And now for the center, my yellow to represent the metal buckle. I'm going to slide that down a bit. Wrap this one two, three, and slide that down. And we're going to do a second yellow one on top. One, two, three times around. And doing two yellow rubber bands in the center for the buckle is what makes the buckle appear to be slightly taller than the ribbons on the side. So now we are done with that piece of the layout and we have one more layer to go. We're going to take two black rubber bands at a time starting on the left and going forward and be careful in your placement here. You want to make sure that those black rubber bands stay on top of the white ones. In the center, two more black. Again, keeping them on top of the yellow. And on the right side, two more black. And now going from 
left to right on the bottom and left to right on the bottom. And finally, because on our pilgrim's hat the sides extend out a bit, we need to do one more step. For this, I'm going to take two black rubber bands and twist it around my hook three times. I'm now going to take two more black rubber bands and hook them, pull tight, and use my thumb to push all of those twisted rubber bands over. so that they are centered. And this is what's going to be the sides of the hat that extend out. We're going to put that at the bottom corner. There. And we're going to repeat for the other side two black rubber bands twisted around your hook one, two, three times. Take two more rubber bands, hook them, pull tight, and use your thumb to push those rubber bands over. And then this is ready to go on this corner to represent the other side of the hat. Move this out of the way so it's more clear. And you have now placed all of your rubber bands. And we're ready to begin hooking. Starting from the bottom left, I've rotated my loom around. I'm going to put my hook in to pull back those bands on top and catch just the two that go to the right. Repeating on the other side. To catch just those two that go to the center. Bring them up. into the middle. And so you've now done the bottom of your hat. And now we're going to work up the hat from the left, reaching in for those two rubber bands that are on the bottom. The hook, pull up the center and go straight forward, repeating in the center, hooking those two rubber bands, if you feel anything that's tight, just go back and double check. You shouldn't need to pull too hard to get these. If it's tough, you've probably caught one of the wrong rubber bands. And that's how you break your hook, is if you try and force it out. So if it feels hard to pull, just pause and look back to make sure you're getting just the one on the bottom. And now this side, we have those two rubber bands on the bottom. I'm going to hook those and bring it up the center, straight forward. And here is the challenging part of this design. In order to get your ribbon and your metal looking like these do and not just a V going up. You need to do this. Coming from the side, put your hook underneath 
and to catch those white rubber bands and bring them up and over the peg. Repeat on this side. Bring your hook underneath, hook those white rubber bands and bring them up and over. And the yellow will be the trickiest because if you remember there were two of those and not only are there two, they're in the center. So it's a little harder to reach. But with practice you will get this and you will get it right. So I've put my hook in here underneath the black rubber bands and I'm hooking yellow. Realized I missed a couple so I'm going back again to try and hook all those yellows. And it looks like I got them. So I'm going to come around the front and over the peg. There you go. That's how we get the metal in the middle. Now we want to catch from the left side the top two black rubber bands that are in the center. Those go to the center peg. So I'm reaching in and catching just these top two rubber bands and bringing them to the center peg. And on the other side, the same thing. Come in, grab those top two black rubber bands and bring them to the center. And now, from the left, the two rubber bands remaining, they're going to go straight forward. In the center, you've got a lot to work through, so you may want to look from the side to make sure you're catching the right rubber bands. It's just the very bottom two. center and pull forward. Again, do not force it. If it's a struggle, you probably caught the rubber, wrong rubber band. Go back and look again. Now this one is a little more straightforward. We're just catching these two to bring them straight forward. From the left, it's only two rubber bands. Those go straight to the center to make the top of the hat. Repeat on this side from the right to the center. And then finally, the last rubber band to reach all the way down to catch just that one rubber band on the bottom. Pull it up the center. Unhook that side. Pull it through the middle. Oops, I let go, but you see, I let go, but it's still there. So, no harm. Just catch that bottom one again. Pull it through the center to tie a knot. And now you're ready to take your pilgrim hat off the loom. I use the hook so that I don't strain my rubber bands. Helps them keep their shape better if you haven't stretched them out too much. And this is your pilgrim hat. I hope you like it. I hope you had fun making it. You can attach these to napkin rings for your table at Thanksgiving or add them to a necklace or a bracelet or hang it from the zipper on your backpack, whatever you like. If you liked this video, 
please do click like below and also please consider subscribing to find out when I post additional videos. And also I do read my comments. Feel free to make suggestions for what I should make next. I hope you like your pilgrim hat and happy Thanksgiving.